Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. It's healthy with Tina Augusta. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we'll be teaching you how to take measurements using measurement scale and measurement cup. Please guys, don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Alright guys, let's get started. This is called a measurement scale. While taking measurements in kg, you read the red lines. You read the red lines. This is 0 kg. This is 0 0.5 kg, that is 500 gram. This is 1 kg, that is 1000 gram. 1.52, 2.53, 3.54, 4.5, 5.5, 5, all in kg. They are all in kg. All these red lines are in kg. This is LBS, why this is kg. You read the black lines while measuring in pounds, that is LBS, not while measuring in kg. Just note that all these red lines are for kg measurements. So guys, let's show you how to take measurements using both the measurement scale and measurement cup. First of all, you place the bowl you'll be using for the measurement on the scale. Then you zero the scale by adjusting the knob. Please, while taking measurements, do not view from the side. Ensure you stand facing the scale so as to get a perfect reading. Alright guys, now that the scale is on zero, you can now start pouring whatever you want to measure into the bowl. This is the measurement cup we'll be making use of, that is one cup. At the end of this video, you should be able to take an accurate measurement, even without making use of the measurement scale. So we'll start by taking measurements of sugar. This is one cup of sugar, so while we pour it, you observe the effect on the scale. As you can see, one cup of sugar is equal to 0.25 kg. That is 250 gram. Please note that 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. That is 1000 g is equal to 1 kg. So we put another one cup, making it two cups. So you can see the reading on the scale, which is in between 0 and 1. That is 500 gram. And what that means is that two cups of sugar will give you 0 0.5 kg. That is 500 gram. So let's add the third cup. And the third cup will make it 0 0.75 kg. That is 750 gram. I hope you remember what we said about gram and kilogram. 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. And all the numbers written in red are in kilogram. So this is the fourth cup of sugar. So taking the reading from the scale, you can see it's in 1 kg. So what that means is that 4 cups of sugar is equal to 1 kg of sugar. The next thing we take the measurement is flour. Of course you know that the weight of flour is lighter than that of sugar. Please don't forget to zero your scale before measuring. Alright, let's begin the measurement. So you fill the cup well, but don't overfill. As you can see, one cup of flour is not up to 0.25 kg. Alright, let's add the second cup to see the effect. And now the reading is at 0.25 kg. It means that two cups of flour will give you 0.25 kg. Let's complete it four cups so we can see the effect. So we pour the third cup. Then the fourth cup. So we have four cups of flour in our bowl. So you can see the reading is in between 0 and 1 kg. That is 0 0.5 kg, which is 500 gram. So from what we just did, you've seen that four cups of flour will give you 0 0.5 kg, which is 500 gram of flour. 
So next thing we need to show you is that you can use anything to take measurements on your scale, whether bowl or plate, but ensure you zero it before measuring. Alright, let's also show you the measurement of margarine using measurement cup. So we place the measurement cup, that is one cup, inside the plate. We'll be making use of 250 gram of margarine for this measurement. Alright, let's cut it open, then transfer it into the measurement cup. While you do that, you continually heat it on a hard flat surface so it could settle very well. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. Also like, comment and share this video. So as you can see, we have emptied the nylon. So you can see the reading on the scale. That is 0.25 kg, which is 250 gram. And it's exactly one cup. So in summary, for margarine and sugar, which are heavier in weight compared to flour, four cups will give you one kg. Then for flour, which is lighter in weight, four cups will give you 0.5 kg, while eight cups will give you one kg. Thank you so much for watching to the end. See you in our next video. Bye!